It's the nicest champion chase next, and let's hope that they jump a little bit better than the open horses did in the last race. And what a bigger field for this one as well, and they're also going a further mile. So it's three miles and one furlong this time. And the top one is Gates of Dawn, Leon van Rensburg. Good timing for Ryan Tamasebi. Horror of the Clowns, Joshua Sullivan, Rosini's McCavity, David Hooley, Simon's Wood, Darren Thompson, State of Euphoria, Ryan Tomasevi, Swindy Home, James Shea, Amazing Grace, Joshua Sullivan, George O'Keefe, Paul Rhodes, Junk in the Trunk Ages, David Robertson, Nuclear, Leon Van Rensburg, Renvile Prospect for Craig Allen and Cy Rahm for Graham Clutterbuck. There might be a possibility that the commentator pulls up halfway through the race here, and often they're racing, and Good Timing is the first one to show with Horror of the Clowns and Amazing Grace close up as well, and then Cy Rahm after that one, so 16 fences to take then in this Champion Novices Chase and Good Time and Horror of the Clans have gone six lengths clear already to the rest of them, Sarum just about heading the main body of the field they're all safely over the first and they've got 15 more to take in this one running through the Irish rain and Good Time is in the lead from Horror of the Clan second, gap of seven lengths or so then to the rest of them and now probably just about headed by Simons Wood right over on the far side as they get to the second and all safely over that one with Nuclear just the current back marker and Drunk in the Trunk Ages is also towards the back with Rosini's McCavity. At the third then, all over that one without mishap and good timing is the clear leader then by three quarters of a length to Horror of the Clowns in second, gap of only four or five lengths now back to Amazing Grace has moved through into third then Swindy Home on the outside is fourth with State of Euphoria and Simons Wood and then Rinval Prospect and George O'Keefe with Siram after that one, Rosini's McCavity in the purple jacket on the outside and then Nuclear just making his way towards the outside and the Grawl is a mistake there by um, Gates of Dawn and Junk in the Trunk Ages the grey is trying to creep up the inside, but Good Time and Horror of the Clans are still well clear of the remainder. Getting over that ditch, and they're all safe near that one of those gates of dawn was a little untidy once more. And good Time and continues to show the way. So Horror of the Clans in second. State of Euphoria is six or so lengths back in third on the outside of Amazing Grace with Renvile Prospect and George O'Keefe and Simons Wood virtually the line. Swindy Home is wide on the track with Rosini's McCavity. Sire Arm just on their inside. The grey junkie to trunk ages is on the rail with Nuclear alongside that one and Gates of Dawn. The back markers, they all get over number six. And make their way up the straight. A good time and is now opened up by a good two and a half to three lengths from Horror of the Clowns back in second as they pass the winning post with another circuit to go State of Euphoria is third, Simon's Wood is fourth then George O'Keefe and Amazing Grace uh, Rosini's McCavity is making some nice ground around the outside in the purple jacket Renvile Prospect is steady in mid-division as they take number seven and they're all safely over number seven except Junk in the Trunk Ages is gone so Junk in the Trunk Ages is a faller there and good timing is clear Good four lengths now. Trying to slip Horror of the Clans. Horror of the Clans over it in second. As Joshua Sullivan and Ryan Tamasebi are controlling the front four at the moment, it's Ryan Tamasebi first and fourth, and Joshua Sullivan second and third. And there's still a fair way to go as they get down to number nine. And over that one they go with good timing. Clearing the lead by four lengths to Horror of the Clans and Amazing Grace second and third, New State of Euphoria fourth. Then Swindy home round the outside, Simons Wood next, then George O'Keefe as they take this ditch. And all over that ditch as well, nicely with Siram and uh, Rosini's McCavity jumping well on the outside. Gates of Dawn is still struggling at the back. But Good Timing's lead is down to just three lengths now. Horror of the Clowns is second, Amazing Grace is third, and Stanley Euphoria is four. Simons Wood is five, and Swindy home is six. Nuclear is now running down nicely into seventh. Renvile Prospect has just lost its place a little bit and dropped to the back as they come to number 11 and all safely over the 11th with good timing in the lead and Horror of the Clowns in second State of Euphoria third Amazing Grace four the order has been pretty much the same throughout for that little leading group the distances between them has been different but they get to the 12th 
and the leader still appears to be going well. Good timing. Two lengths clear of Horror of the Clan. State of Euphoria is third. Just been pushed along a little bit there was Amazing Grace. Simons would still go well enough as they get over the 13th. And over that one they go in the field and they're beginning to bunch and they're bunching up behind this leader. Good timing. He leads by only a length now then with six furlongs and four fences to take. And it's good timing in the lead from Horror of the Clan second. And then Amazing Grace is third. State of Euphoria. Then Simons Wood and Swindy Home is after that one. Siram is trying to run on. Rinval Prospect is switched to the outside as they race down towards the third from home then now and good timing will come to it in the lead gets over it nicely he's still a couple of lengths clear Swindy home now being driven up on the outside looks like he might come in, be coming alongside as they make their way down towards the final couple of fences then good timing on the near side challenge for the first time now for a long time by Swindy home and Swindy home oh he's gone he's gone good timing the long time leader crashes out and that's left Swindy home in the lead. Nuclear and Renval Prospect have come from nowhere to take second and third, and these three are clear of Rosini's McCavity as they race down then now with just one more fence to take, and it's Swindy home in the lead by a length. Renval Prospect and Nuclear in a ding dong battle for second. They're well clear of the remainder. Difficult to see any of them getting into it, although Amazing Grace is trying to run on. Swindy home then, one to jump in the lead by a length. But Renval Prospect and Nuclear are closing at this final fence. They go Swindy home, probably jumped it best, and also jumping it really well was Amazing Grace. Who's now switched to the outside, they're inside the final furlong. Swindy Home's a little bit one pace now taken by Nuclear Renvar Prospect. Amazing Grace on the outside, it's almost three in a line. Amazing Grace going to try and challenge Nuclear. Amazing Grace is getting up, and Amazing Grace is amazingly going to take it up towards the line. It's Amazing Grace that wins its standard euphoria. Got up to be second, then Nuclear and Renvar Prospect. And it looked as though. Joshua Sutherland and Ryan Tamasemi's hold on that race and gone. And then they suddenly come back and take it a one two. So Amazing Grace's amazing form continues in a good win there for Joshua Sutherland. State of Euphoria was second for Ryan Tamasemi. Nuclear for Leon van Rensburg was third. Renval Prospect for Craig Allen fourth. And Gates of Dawn for Leon van Rensburg was fifth. Swindy Home leading over the last ended up just seventh.